Shelburne were winners last year. Piedmont won it in 2020. In, in between, Wexford Youths won it. Piedmont beat City in that final. Chance for Zambra! And they've taken the lead. Stephanie Zambra has a great record of scoring against Cork City. In the end, looks for McCarthy, but it only comes as far as Onyo Gorman then. Zambra looked to be pickpocketed. Onyo Gorman on the edge of the area. Chance to get a shot in. And she's done it. Onyo Gorman, quick as you like. Stephanie Zambra, the creator. And Onyo Gorman. Possibly Christina Dring, who's worked hard all afternoon. Said he looked for fresh legs now. Possibly could see Shine coming in for Christina Dring. Lauren Singleton, of course, offers City that pace, electrifying pace, which she possesses in abundance. Shine, that great ability to hold up the ball. As Jar Gargan on the edge of the area plays one through the middle. Joy Ralph, chance to score, and she does. Joy Ralph, rewarded for a really good contribution all afternoon, makes it 3 0 for Rovers. Laura Shine and Jesse Hennessy. Rovers at the other end, McAvoy. McAvoy on the edge of the area, plays one through the middle, and Onyo Gorman tucks it away, and it's four for Rovers. Well, that was too easy. The substitute turns creator, Alana McAvoy, and Onyo Gorman. So Sligo Rovers with the big upset yesterday, beating Bohemians. Athlone edging Piemont on penalties. And Shelburne, who still have aspirations of a possible double, getting the better of DLR Waves. They will join Rovers in the draw on Tuesday. We will have three additional minutes here as Rovers go in search of a fifth. Play one forward. Shot comes in. What a goal. It's the goal of the afternoon. Absolutely superb ball from Jessica Gargan. And Rovers make it five.